Three reasons to visit Kos. Morning everybody, it's Tom here from The Company Code, author, educator and public speaker. I'm going to give you my three reasons why to visit the island of Kos. Kos is one of two main Greek islands in what you call the Dodecanese Islands. These islands hug very tightly the coast of Turkey and a really, really strong array of landmass there. But the two main islands are Kos and Rhodes, to which I've been to both. The surrounding islands, which are much smaller, tend to really be day trips. I don't think they're much in terms of tourist attractions due to the size. There's a lot of very small islands clustered around. Reasons number one then would be, without a doubt, the huge coastline. We have 112 kilometres, yes, a 70 mile coastline. It is literally just absolutely the whole island is pretty much one big long beach stroke coastline. Anyone who loves going to the beach, myself included, that is more than ideal. You know, just having that be surround the whole island, the whole island surrounded by water, surrounded by beautiful coastline, and may I add, very, very, very beautiful beaches as well. You know, with it being such a large landmass to encompass. It really, really is a lovely place to visit for that. If that's what you're into, of course, personally, I love the beach. You can see from some of my previous videos how much I love the beach. But it is really, really great. Reasons number two. You've got a real mixture here. A real mixture of two of styles in terms of culture. And that only adds to the interest of the island, really, culturally. Because, obviously, it's a Greek island. But due to its location, being so close to Turkey... There's, you'll see a lot of Ottoman sort of influence there. It's not uncommon to see mosques and other relics of the Ottoman Empire on the island. And obviously you've got the Greek influence because it's a Greek, Greek country. You've also got uh, influences of the Roman Empire as well because they went out that way. And it's really interesting in terms of sites, some of the things that you will see. You will see obviously your classic Greek, Greek ruins. You would see uh, Hippocrates' tree. Yes, the philosopher grew up on the island of Kos. And there is a site which is really, really, really common for him. And a lot of people go to visit that. Okay, So you've got that as well. As well as obviously the more modern sort of marine lifestyle which is due to the large coastline and a lot of very fancy bars, nightclubs, really wild life, nightlife as well I may add. All there on the island making for an interesting holiday for anyone who wants to go out that way. Definitely something there for everybody, something there for you to take, if you can take your family there there's plenty to do, plenty to see. Uh, you can take you can just go a group of you if you want to save the life, not the wildlife nightlife. Or if you really, really like your sightseeing and your history and your culture, and you've got an array of different things going on there, which makes for an interesting holiday. Third and final reason, you'd probably have guessed it with the location and where it is, and being so close to the coast of Turkey. The weather is really, really nice. For pretty much all year round. It doesn't really drop below 20 degrees. So if you don't want to go when it's holiday season. And families are on holiday. You can go later in the year. And you will not be disappointed. The summers are dry and hot. The winters are mild. It's rarely cold on the island. In fact I don't think it ever really is cold on, in Kos. There is a mountainous area of Kos. Obviously, due to altitude, you do get snow up there. However, I have to be honest, 
I think it's quite rare that you'll see snow in such a country with the heat and with where it is in the ocean so close to Turkey and obviously the Af North African part of the world as well which you get a lot of heat coming off the, that part of the, the world as well so as an island as a place a really really enjoyable family holiday it's got uh, all potential for holiday for anyone who's young who wants to go for the nightlife it's it's different there's something different about it and it's definitely worth a visit i've been once i'd like to go again definitely at some point in the future it's been a fair few years since i've been it's been like 14 years now so uh, obviously time's moved on in a decade and a half nearly but definitely Kos is a really great island and obviously greece as you know as i've said before any part of Greece, I haven't yet to be to a Greek island that has really disappointed me, none of them have, the whole area and culture and people just sort of embrace us very very much, make us feel very welcome and it's definitely a country that is worth a visit, put it on your bucket list and get yourself over there if you can, thank you for listening, as always appreciate your time and your support on this platform. This is video number two of three. The third video will be out back end of the week. If you've learnt, ever been to Kos and you have your own experience of this, please put down in the comment section below what your experience of Kos was, whether or not you'd go again, whether or not you'd like to go to Kos. I'd be happy to exchange some uh, sort of conversation with you as to why I want to go, why I'd like to go again, and why I went the first time, and certainly talk about it with you. Please, please, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below and the notifications bell. Let's hear the bell chime and go ding dong so that you know when I'm releasing content. And finally, thank you, as always, for listening and your attention here today. Much appreciated. Speak to you soon and take care.